Hello, welcome back. What you see here is a 1966 K181 8 horsepower Kohler engine. And I gotta rebuild it. Uh, gotta put a uh, governor in it here. Gotta put a governor in. Cause my governor shaft and everything's broke in there. Gotta put new pistons and rings in. And obviously, you know, I'll go ahead and uh, replace the coil. Things of that nature. But anyway, it comes out of a wheel horse. It's a garden tractor. And since the times being what they are, and I'm a homesteader slash prepper, and I know a little bit about mechanic work, things of that nature, uh, that's why I tend to uh, stay with the older the older engines simply because when they shut down they're a little bit easier to fix instead of the newer uh, newer engines etc etc but that's a that's an entirely another video yeah uh, anyway getting back out of here for the color rebuild um, I'm in my camper here on my homestead. And let's get back at it. I'm gonna take the head off there, and uh, I'm using a plug wrench for a chainsaw. And it takes the head. I gotta set the camera down. Anyway, that's where I get the head bolts off of, and uh, several other bolts. It has a Carter uh, carburetor on it, which I rebuilt, and thinking that was the problem, but it wasn't. So I have a new carb coming as well. You can see there's a Carter. Put new valves, new everything in it. new bowl, or not new bowl, but uh, bowl gasket, and float, things of that nature. Thinking that was the problem, but it wasn't. I'm thinking uh, after I got into it, I tried to adjust my uh, governor arm here, and it just sits there and spins and spins, and it won't tighten up, so I'm thinking uh I broke my governor arm or the governor arm was break because or broke because once it got under a load I could fire it up and run it right now but once it gets under a load it'll shut down and when I was adjusting it I could swore that I heard something fall down inside the engine and I was like well I did at that time so now I gotta take everything apart you know me and the mad scientist here has got to uh, rip it apart and bring her back to life. Alright, as you can see here, I got the head off of him here. And I'm just going to crank it here to see if my valve's working here. And piston here. It does not. Cylinder walls is real smooth. There's no no sign of scratching or anything of that nature. No skull marks or anything. I'll run up here and see if there's any. That's good and tight. That's good and tight, okay. Anyway, I'm still replacing the piston and the rings, my valve, valve springs, all my seals. Um, 
just getting it right back to uh, as close as I can to an original engine uh, you know factory date because it's uh, 50 years old right now and I you know just rebuild it and uh, bring it back I'll get 50 more years out of it hopefully Flip everything out when I flip this over because I left the boats in it. And don't look too shabby in there. Can't flip it on over because it'll, the boats will come out. Uh, 